Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. Uh, people have been asking me to do more challenges and I completely agree. I've been kind of ignoring them. So I'm going to do Isaac's Awakening because it unlocks Spirit Sword and Spirit Sword is pretty fun. Um, and I think there's a mod now that I have that adds more synergies to it. I can't remember exactly. I'm pretty sure I do. Anyways, we're going to mess around with the Spirit Sword. Um, this is basically just Isaac is Link, if I remember correctly. Um... And it's a, like a Zelda reference. Although it's weird because there's another challenge that was part of the game a lot earlier on that was also um, <laughs> a, a Zelda reference challenge that didn't really end up working now because now there's actually Spirit Sword in the game before it was just with a... Uh... Oh really? That hit me? Um, yeah, it was, it was pretty funny. But anyways, we, we have the shield. We also have the ability to throw rocks. Um... It's it, it's a pretty it's a pretty easy challenge early on. It only really gets like quite difficult towards the end because um because oh god um oh by the way I did change over some of the sprites that people didn't like. Um, thank you for your feedback on that. Very very nice. Um, I don't think there's item rooms, is there? I I mean I've got to check. But yeah, it only really gets hard towards Mother, because at that point, um, obviously, you're very, very close range, and Mother is quite far away from you, so... Also, I did see that Tinted Rock in the previous room. Do not fret. Do not worry. I did see it. But yeah, unfortunately, we have zero item room. Um, I guess I'm just going to pop another one of them. I did indeed see this. And we get ourselves a Joker. I mean, honestly, using the Joker on this floor seems like a very good idea. Um... We get ourselves the snake, which I really like. And what the hell's this? Instantly makes every end of the room um, friendly, as with friendly ball. It's kind of an interesting idea. Uh, although it would take away our active, which is maybe not the greatest. Um, it's hard to decide if this is a good idea or not. I don't know. Void Bombs is also real good. Um, we've, we've shown how good Void Bombs is before. Instantly makes every enemy in the room friendly as with friendly ball. I'm gonna give it a go, you know I've realized that the throwing rocks thing is a pivotal part of this run But we don't need it and I feel like the ability to throw uh, to turn every single enemy in any room friendly And they carry through to other rooms with us as they do with friendly ball sounds real real good Of course, we unfortunately get this bastard of a boss, but he is already dead We're gonna start with obscene damage, so it's fine. I can't believe that hit me or bandage, thank you. And of course, the alt path is the only way we can go because we're going straight for Mother. Uh, I like having Minos here, our little sneaky boy early on. He is a good chap. He is a good chap. Uh, as for the question of the day, what's something that isn't traditionally a pet that you would love to have as a pet? What's an animal that, like, isn't really a pet but you would love to have as a pet? Spider unboxing. Spider unboxing. But yeah, I kept the chests going because people seem to like those. I said spider unboxing plus this rain. Really not so great for the game's stability right now. Thank you at least. Got through that. With all the little white spiders and the little uh, water droplets they make on the ground. Um, yeah, we'll open up both of these. Honestly, consumable wise, things are going really, really well right now. That's pretty, that's pretty good stuff. Shops are going to be pretty valuable for us here as well because uh, they're kind of our only place. Ooh, Spindle is actually real good. We will try to afford Spindle if we can. Good. I'm going to wait for a, a, a sort of proper room to use this uh, revolution item we got here. we got quite a lot of bombs here, so we could take our time with this. Beautiful. I am going to bomb both of these guys in the hopes of just getting a few pennies or items. Fortunately not. Okay. Yeah, I do definitely want Spindle. It's very, very good. Um, it basically makes it so that we can get um, a bunch of discs every room. And we almost have enough already. Awesome. Come on. Another penny. Please. All we want is just one penny. That's all I ask of this game to give me right now. Oh, there you go. Beautiful. Spindle, here we come. Isn't it um, every time we go into a boss room? Um, yeah, every time we enter a boss room, we get a disc. Real, real good. And it also gives us three discs right now. Chaos disc. Which is going to help us 
a hell of a lot for um, bosses and in the late game, especially. Good, good. Still haven't used my active yet. Don't really know where I would. Cactus boy. So far, I'm really liking this run. Not so big of a fan of that. But yeah, I guess I can just keep my Chaos Disc for a little while. And in these early floors, we should be able to clear the floors to get to the disc pretty darn quickly. Still no good room for, um... Ow, that was, that was kind of rude. No good room for our space bar quite yet. This big room here could be one, though, because there's just a lot of enemies to go at. Potentially. Or not. No enemies to go at all. Wait, what? There's an item room here? Oh, uh, of course there is. There has to be on this floor, doesn't there? That's kind of an interesting. You go away. Someone needs to find out what what's going on with that. Um, yeah, interesting to see that that's how that works. Why am I flying? What what item did I get? I don't know. Um, I've got to do my my whole white fire room this floor. I got to do it so it gives you an item room because there's no other way. All right, check this out. A tie. Touching a shopkeeper will allow you to hire them. Interesting. My free trial has ended. Heck. So many free trials disappearing away from me. All that range that we had. Gone. Wow, I just got loads of versions of flight there. There you go. Beautiful. This has gone very, very well thus far. And we get ourselves this, which uh, unfortunately would have gulped a held trinket if we had one, but which, which we don't. I don't even know know why it lets you leave the floor until you've got your key piece, you know. It should just make you stay until you get it. That was going to hurt. But I got through it. Right. Secret room. Secret room. Where is this secret room? I think it's here. Yeah, there you go. I mean, Flatworm I don't think does anything for us, but I will take it. Right, let's do our mirror room. Shouldn't be too bad. We do have a few rooms to go through, which is a little bit of a pain, but none of the rooms are particularly awful. Apart from this one, this one did hit me. So we've got to be careful of that. I suppose in this room we could just do that, and there you go. They're all friendly now. Makes, makes our, our, our life a little bit easier, doesn't it? And here we go. Good, 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 good. Um, do I want to do the boss again? Honestly, yes, I think I do. It's a bit of a risk, I realise. But I think it'll be pretty easy for us. I mean, we've handled this reasonably well thus far. And I think uh, mimics a stock market pattern um, with your coins over the first seven rooms of a floor after gaining... After gaining rots after seven rooms... Yeah, I don't want to mess around with that. I don't really understand it fully. Um, but we're going to get another disc, right? Because it's another boss room, so... It's all positive, baby. We do get another disc. Good. Disc. It was a treasure disc this time. There you go. Free item and an extra disc. It's all gravy, baby. It's all gravy. And we got a pretty good item, too. Okay, very, very happy with the events of this. Let's um, head back into our mirror and head down to the mines. So far, I mean, the I did say the early game of this run's pretty easy and it's going to go by pretty heckin' fast um, just because we're going to be kind of speeding along at the speed of sound because rooms are super easy to clear, bosses at this level are super easy to clear. So once we get to the end game and Mother specifically where things get pretty difficult, especially the Mother fight itself because the range just doesn't lend itself to the mother fight with Spirit Sword. Um, but yeah, let's go. I'm not exactly sure how my knife piece mod is going to work in this challenge. I hope how I expect it, and I'm going to play with those, with that idea in mind, but we'll see. This is a room that where I'm just going to take you all as my own children.
Beautiful. Hey, you got another one of these hearts here as well. Nah, thanks. Yeah, we've just got a few fellas chilling about. It's nice. A few little, few little guys and gals. I'll check this out. That is a full reroll room. Um, we can get red key for a, a hot minute. Oh, uh, so you got to kind of go like this. Uh, not super useful. I kind of like that idea though. Uh, yeah. Full run reroll. It does make this challenge a lot easier because it gets rid of spirit sword, but. That's only easier for the actual boss fight, otherwise it makes it a lot harder. This is not meant to be a hard challenge, really. It's only the mother fight that that really gives us any issues. Oh, toy drum there would be quite nice. But I traded all my money away for nothing. Do not fret. Oh, look at that, baby! We got a giant rock. We got a giant rock. That's going to give us the money we need. Oh, beautiful. It gives us so much money. Wow. And then we get Midas Touch in the end of all that. Wowee. Okay. That was good stuff. I'm going to take both of these good good fellas. That. And that. Gregoth the Eggoth has become our Lord and Savior. Love it. And we get a secret room as well. And we could smell a trinket here for 15. I do not need to do that with this trinket. We got 2020 there, an infestation. We got some really good stuff out of that. Ow. This did not go to plan. It's okay though, we got, got this. Good old PJs, okay. Okay. Well, this is like an incredibly good devil deal here. Uh, well, Brimstone first. I don't know what Brimstone does for us here. Okay, it does work. Thank you. And I will also take this as well. Yeah, it works. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> That's because of the mod that adds synergies to Spirit Sword. This is why we want Spirit Sword unlocked now. Because now we have a Brimstone Spirit Sword, which is pretty wacky, but pretty awesome. It extends our range quite a lot, which is nice. Um, also, it's very loud. Yeah, it extends our range quite a lot, um, which is pretty nice, but it also is just added damage regardless. So. Do you know what? This is a room where I want all of you to be my friends. Apparently, the ones underground, it didn't actually work for the... But yeah, this noise, hope, it, hope you're not annoyed by this, because this is going to be constant. We need to watch out for those uh, hearts when they drop. Just miss two of them back to back. There's one. Thank you, Greg, for spawning a single penny for me. Check this out. Dude, Eternal, the Eternal D10, it needs to actually go and die. It's everywhere. It never leaves me alone. It is the bane of my existence. This is beautiful. <laughs> This is so beautiful. Get some of these wackier enemies as our friends if we wanted to. Just walk, in, walk into a fire, why don't I? What was a good idea to just walk into a fire? Don't think we need anything to do with you. What up, Gideon? This is a Gideon that had an extra, extra little something going there for me. Ow. Just sort of smush right through that guy's defenses there. Ah, for fuck's sake. I was just about to say I don't want to lose my grey heart, so I'm going to stay over these rocks. The rocks were not safe. I thought they were. They were not. Um, and then here we get... This is pretty good for us, right? Yeah. Good, good, good. 
And then, yeah, just down straight to the mausoleum. No? Oh, okay. So I do have to do the mother chase sequence. It's not going to let me do it. Okay. So it's the first time I'm going to have to do this chase sequence in ages. I haven't done this in a while. Have I pressed the button in here? I haven't. Honestly, I could just fuck off with the buttons and get through the door this way. This is the first time I'm going to have done this in a real long time, so forgive me if I'm terrible at it. Like, it's been a really, really long time since I last had to do this. Um... Okay, thank you. Matchstick, I guess. Do not mind if I do. But yeah, I'll certainly take a little bit of damage along, along the way here, I'd think, but let's just hope it's not too much. Ah, come on now. Special rock I can't do anything with. Isaac. I've got a few friends to keep me company along the way, I guess. Good. Not too bad, not too bad. I think I've hit myself here. Nope, I'm good. Ooh, that was close. Um, I am confused by this. Okay, no, no, I'm not. I see. These are some modded versions of these rooms, aren't they? This one's just called a little bit of backtracking. Uh, what, what did it just open for me? Ah, I see, I see. Okay, this this room is rather overcomplicated. Depends on how long it takes to get through, but we're getting there. I kind of like it. Something a little bit different, isn't it? that all right this room here i'm not sure is this okay this one's just a straight shot oh wait no it's not quite it's not quite that 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 just duked me there okay didn't do too shabby here i don't think Beautiful. Being able to destroy those in one hit while outside of combat does help. Yeah, there you go. Okay. That went very, very well. We got our knife piece. We are ready to make our way onto the next floor. Already a mausoleum in what, like 18 minutes? Pretty good going, I think. Pretty good going. I think we have a, a build that is very uh, mother capable. I will say the one problem right now is our current HP. It's fine for these floors, but not for Mother. I'd like a lot more for Mother, so we'll see if we can stack that up a little bit. we got money for the shop available here. Damn it, can't hit that chest. Need to be on it with our, uh, our spacebar item in terms of what rooms we... Uh, we grab for this, because there's some rooms that are going to have enemies that are real important for us to grab. Really? You gave me a sticky nickel? Yeah, some rooms that are going to have very, very useful enemies for us. Others, not so much. And we got to assess it as we go forward. Another penny, Greg. Thank you. Wait a minute. Okay, that's exactly what I was waiting for. Awesome. Basically, I waited for the machine to grow up all of our dudes and then uh, chin and then made them all our friends. Unfortunately, I didn't actually work the way I wanted it to. I was hoping they'd stay big in the next room, but they didn't. Oh, what the hell? We got Cupid's arrow in here? Why? Also, what? Why is the description on it broken? Something is breaking my uh, external item descriptions right now. Because, for one, I don't understand why that's in the shop. Um, I, I don't know what could possibly be doing that. But also, too, that's, uh, that it, d it doesn't have a correct external light description, and it's a vanilla item. So something's clearly breaking my external light descriptions. If anyone knows what it might be, it would be 
very, very nice if you could let me know. I have no idea, and I'd really, really like to sort that if I can. Plague of Decay. Okay. Be a little careful here, but you shouldn't be too bad, to be honest. Good, good, good. Yeah, you weren't too bad at all. Not bad, not bad. And then... I don't think we need to take either of these. Don't think either of them really do too much for me. Let's just get gone, shall we? A very quick floor. Indeedly deed. Speeding around at the speed of sound. Oh, little shithead trying to shoot me there. Greg giving us a pill. Greg, if you just could just, just like, poo out your item, that would be fantastic. Still not really seeing the rooms I'm looking for. I'm waiting for some specific rooms to, uh, to use my space bar on. And I've not really seen them yet. And as soon as you see one of them, you guys will know why I've been waiting for it. But right now, we're getting a little bit unlucky in that front. Do you know what this, this room will do? If I can... Can I not pop my space bar? Oh, th there you go. Wait, what? Okay, no, it works. Good. This room's pretty decent. We'll take this. Apparently, I can kill that guy even though he's my friend. Whoops. Do you, Look at this. Something is clearly broken. Like, what on earth is going on? One second. Okay, I've put I've put a little question about it on the uh, on the modding Discord to see if anyone has any idea because it's really pissing me off. Just it, so often items are getting taken up. That's three times we've seen it this run. Three times. It's just ridiculous, and and in different item pools as well. It's just like, come on now. This is. Getting a bit ludicrous. Okay. Got that done. Oh, we got a second... A second piece here. Thank you. I guess I'll check this out. Infestation 2 is real good, but it's quite a lengthy ordeal to go through to get it. And it's not really going to help us with the boss. I'm going to abstain. Oh, shit. I'm not quite sure what's going on right now. Where's my brimstone going? Okay, no, it's still that good. Why did I just teleport? I'm so confused right now on what I've just... So confused on so many things that just happened here. I lost a lot of health there. I shouldn't have lost. I don't know what the hell's going on. Some of the items I got there were not in my best favor. What, what, what the hell is this? We got a token there. Unexpected, but good. Ow, didn't mean to touch that. Bugger. I'm going to have to wait for our other free trial to end, because otherwise I'm going to hurt, hurt myself a lot. Right. Go away, whatever this light is. My health is not looking good right now. So that's what's going on. I can just walk through walls, which is pretty cool, but there you go. It has gone. Right. I need to really try and make some waves here. I need a lot of health somehow. Do these things not die? 
No, they do. They just take a while. Oh, for, why can't I kill my own enemies? This, this, this space bar is kind of getting gibbed by the fact that for some reason my brimstones can hurt my own... My own chaps. It ain't great. But yeah, as you can see, getting onto the mother fight, things are definitely getting a little touchy here. Because we're getting pretty close and we already are at a point where we don't really have the HP we'd want to face off against mother. By quite a margin as well. It's not even like a little bit off. I'd say we're quite a ways off. Good thing is, I think the eye will help out a good amount, but it's not going to fix everything. Now, I don't like the look of this. An interesting idea, sure, but scares me nonetheless. We do have a full burn heart there, which is very, very nice. If, we, if only we could get to it. Beautiful. Been filled up with a morbid heart as well. Managed to touch that red button somehow. Absolutely unsure as to how. Oh, really? I got hit there? It's okay. I mean, that helps an immense amount. A soul heart and sci fly. Gotta say, that's that's probably one of the better dudes, better little shops I've ever opened. This guy, close range, is going to be kind of a nightmare. He drops a lot of poison. I mean, you're going to grab me towards you. Stuck me in. Doesn't affect me that much. What does affect me is when you're invincible, though. That was close. I don't know how I didn't get hit there. Water tumor's level two. The fire rate isn't super necessary. Um, I'm going to take this at the risk of it being a bit of a stupid decision. Do I have chaos? Why is milk in the devil deal here? Because I, I, I had Chaos from a disc at one point, but I don't currently have Chaos. So I'm a little unsure what's going on with my item pools, because Cupid was also in the shop, so something has clearly been permanently messed up. Oh, hello there, sir. Oh god, those eyes are going to be problematic, aren't they? Oh, I managed to turn that guy into poop. That's good. Turn that dude into poop. Be really close to this guy and wait. Should be going the right way here, I hope. But you know what? This is a good room to make more friends. Not that it, like I said, matters much because they will just get killed by my own shots. But it at least insta-kills a room, so that's not terrible. I can at least try avoiding killing my own men. Which is not always going to happen. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, I saw the spikes. I saw the spiked rocks and I made an effort. A conscious effort to weave between them. And I still hit them. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. A 12 room isn't super necessary right now. I suppose we could get some extra tinted rocks out of it if we were lucky, but I'm not I'm not really playing with luck in mind right now. Okay, it is time and we get a Chaos Disc to boot. Not bad items, not bad items. 
Let me get another one here. Okay, that's pretty cool. The siren one is actually real good. Every time we get hit, we're going to produce a familiar that lasts the entire room. Also, we're producing a lot of money somehow. Not going to question it. I'm just going to stay up in your face, doing as much damage as I possibly can to you. Okay, first phase went very well. We should be fine here. I like the way my water tumor is just leaving little fellas around. Okay, good stuff on there. This is a, a phase that's probably going to hit me, but I'm just going to keep attacking and hope for the best. Somehow it worked out. A little bit clearer view on what's going on right now. Don't know how I'm not getting hit right now, I'll be honest. Okay, you just keep doing this attack that for some reason seemingly can't hit me. And I'll be fine. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Didn't hit me once. Wow, okay. Well, we unlocked Spirit Sword here. I hope you guys enjoyed this challenge run. Good fun. Good stuff indeed. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.